I think when I checked um, the website, it said that Adam Pierce was is 42 years old now, which would mean that in 2008 he would have to have been three, 18 years ago. So he would have to have been. What? I'm trying to do math in my head. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He would have to have been 20. So I guess I should start off this video by saying, if you're new here, I'm not a WWE fan. I can't qualify myself as one. I gave up on this product going on three years ago, well after I probably should have. I don't watch Raw. I don't watch SmackDown. I barely watch NXT. I don't watch any of the pay-per-views unless a match interests me. I'm, I'm just completely done with this company. But if there's two parts of the year where my interest comes back even if just for a little bit it's for january for the warrior rumble and april for wrestlemania and it is of course january warrior rumble is happening at the very end of january january 31st on smackdown recently they had a fatal five way to determine who would face Roman reigns for the universal championship at the warrior rumble match a match that sounded intriguing to me but i just had to not have it in me to watch it i believe the match of all like shinsuke nakamura daniel bryan Sami Zayn, baron corbin and like sheamus or something like that somehow this guy named adam pierce got involved in the match and he won the whole thing i don't understand how that happened but apparently he won the fatal five way he wasn't even involved in the first place he won the match and as of right now he's going to be facing roman reigns for the universal championship at the royal rumble now when i first heard about this the first question i had is who is adam pierce i don't watch enough to really know who adam pierce is and i mean of course i heard the name adam pierce on twitter because i follow people who watch wwe so like I knew of him I didn't know what role he played I didn't know really anything I knew what he looked like but that's about it so then I look into it and I found out he's a quote-unquote WWE official now it's weird because when I think of WWE officials I think of the ringside crew that you know goes to help out people who are injured by the ringside so WWE official just sounds like kind of a weird title to give him I would just call him a commissioner or a GM but We'll go with WWE official Adam Pearce. So he's going to be facing Roman Reigns. And the big question I have is, I know nothing about this guy. Is he even good? I mean, this seems like a very storyline-based match because in any other case, I think it probably should be somebody like a, like a Keith Lee or somebody along those lines facing Roman Reigns at Royal Rumble because that is one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. This is setting up WrestleMania. Adam Pierce, how does he fit into the storyline? I don't know. I don't want, so I'm just like, you know what? I'll take what I'm given. However, I think it is probably in fairness that I look up what Adam Pierce is all about before I just write this off as, oh, this is a garbage idea. I can't believe they put this guy in here. Let's actually look into see if he's actually a good wrestler. Now, Roman Reigns, I think, has improved a lot since I first saw him wrestle in like 2014. I don't know if I can say he could carry Adam Pierce to having a great match, but I think if Adam Pierce is like even just somewhat okay at wrestling, Roman Reigns should probably go in there and have a good match with him. So I took it upon myself to go to my favorite pro wrestling website, cagematch.net, and search up Adam Pierce. Now in here, if we go to match guide section and we go to the rating, the highest rated matches are usually the best match from the wrestler. You can see in here we have a, a, a six or 12 man cage of death match, which that involves multiple people. So I'm not going to really count that because you can really mask how bad a wrestler is by throwing multiple men in there. So we got to go to the singles matches. And the highest rated singles match that Adam Pierce is involved in is against this guy named Brent Albright in 2008 in Ring of Honor. The match is rated 9.0 out of 10, which is pretty high for cage match. I mean, now. You gotta consider the fact that this is a 9.0 with 27 votes, so if you go to the link right here, you had 9 people gave this a 10, 13 people gave this a 9, and 4 people gave this an 8. So it kind of evens it out at a 9, which is, like I said, still high rating, but it's not a lot of people who watch the match. Therefore, if you have a match seen by 100 people, and only 10 people rate the match and they give it a 10 then the match is going to be a 10 out of 10 even though we don't know what the other 90 people thought about the match so that's why i'm kind of looking at it like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but this is a nine nine is considerably great even above great on this website so i'll take this as this was his best match and right here right now we're gonna watch adam pierce's best professional wrestling match and judge is he a worthy opponent for roman reigns at 
the Royal Rumble. I found this match complimentary of Adam Pierce's very own YouTube channel, which I will link in the description down below for you guys to go watch and possibly subscribe to his channel. The match looks like a timestamp of 24 minutes, so it looks like it may be going probably like, you know, 20 minutes or so. Mm. We'll see. All right, guys, we are here at the match. I legitimately have never seen Adam Pierce wrestle. I have no idea what kind of style he used to wrestle. I don't know what his finisher is. I don't even know who the other guy is. So this is a completely fresh match for me. Uh, I have not seen a surplus of old Ring of Honor matches. The very few I've seen, I always enjoyed them. So I'm sure this would be a really good one as well. Oh, I just realized this is also for the NWA World Championship. So it's even better. Interpromotional stuff. Let's go. Definitely an older match. It's not even in 1080p. Boo. Not 1080p. Boo. <laughs> Looks like they're in a Manhattan Center. Pretty rock and scrub. He's getting booed, so I guess he's a heel. Right, he looks like a pretty sizable guy. Not really, not really small. Wouldn't say he's big either, but that's, you know what? He looks like he might be kind of big. Like he might be a powerhouse type of guy. I mean, usually whenever you see a guy with that kind of like that that one piece looking thing, they usually are always like a technical wrestler or powerhouse of some sort. NWA World Heavyweight Title Match. Oh, shoulder block. Oh, Adam Pierce is now. Wait, back up to feet. Oh, he's down again. Bro, he got knocked down three times in a row. Oh, Lord. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> he got a whole squad, though. What the hell? I didn't even see that guy in a blue shirt. I hope this is not the match. I hope it's not interferences and shit. This is going to be like a Jay White match where Ghetto just interferes the entire time. I think when I checked um, the website, it said that Adam Pierce was is 42 years old now, which would mean that in 2008, he would have to have been three, 18 years ago. So he would have to have been... I'm trying to do math in my head. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He would have to been 24? Now I need to make sure I'm doing the math right. Hold on. Yeah, I was already 24. <laughs> See, I've been out of college for a while, but I still know my maths. Definitely don't look 24. I'm kind of over at 24. But... but right now, this is like the second slap to the face this guy has done. Adam Pierce, you got to stop laying down for this guy. You better start stiffing him. Juice. Wait, uh, uh. Juice. 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 German suplex. Oh, that was clever. That was clever. I like that. He, he got to shove them into the rope and directly. Well, directly. That was, I like that. That was cool. Is he biting him? What the fuck? Oh my god, did this spit off his face? Yeah, call for the bell, ref. Call for the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Nah, you don't want to end the match right there. Off a spit to the face. That's disgusting. It's a real heel right there. Uh oh, homie's bleeding. Now Adam Pierce is in control. I say this and then he's about to get his ass kicked some more. Oh, he's snot on him and shit? That's a... Uh, that's some real heel shit right there. You don't see that in WWE. God damn. Oh lord, he's already exposing the outside. That's not good. Oh no, a power driver? On the outside? That's gonna suck. Oh! Oh! Uh. Wait, it's a ring post? Oh! It's at a ring post! Oh shit. Some out with a chair. Who knows this? Hey, it's Roddy! It's Eric Strong! Roddy, 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 Roddy! It's actually a pretty good match so far. It's like an old school NWA style uh, match, but you know, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm vibing it. Is he going for a 619? He better not. He better not. He better not go for a 619. I'm done. I'm done. He better not. <laughs> that was dope. Oh, that was dope. I like that. 6-1 knee. Okay. Okay. I feel like I've been trolled, but I enjoyed that. I mean, I want to. Oh, full shoulders down. Has anyone ever won with the shoulders being down for figure four leg lock? I feel like somebody's won with that before, but I can't think about it. Powerbomb? Power oh, I thought it was about to get Canadian Destroyer for a second. One, two! Oh, top rope. I'll do a 450 splash. Watch. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, just a body splash. Wait, what? One, two. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it's SCF! It wasn't as fluid as I know he wanted it to be, but it was still a nice transition. Why does anyone ever bite the bite the form? Like, if your hand's right there. Oh, oh, it's in the food you are! Oh, Lord. Oh, he got that really quickly, too. Top rope. Wait, oh! Oh! Forgot all about the table! Damn! Cow! Oh, he said cow! Oh, shit. It's about to be over, bro. That was great, though. They really let me forget about this table and just, like, the way they set that spot up. Nine! Oh, get him in the ring! It's about to be over. 
Pile driver! It's over. One, two. Oh! He kicked out! See, being born in 1997, you don't really get the. I didn't really get to see a lot of these matches growing up. A lot of these, like, old school style matches. Oh! Yeah! Oh, I raked the eye. Come on. Oh, he about to take his head off with the lariat. Turbid suplex! Fifth one. Oh! He should have went for the bridging pin! Starts so a flip. Wait, oh, 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 wait, oh, pit! One, two, oh! Lariat, oh, take down, take down! Fujiwara, oh, he's at the side of the ring, too! Even though he's in target of the Armour match, he ain't getting out of it. Tap, tap, and hey, taps! Damn, that crowd pop was big. Holy shit. All right, all right, that was great. I enjoyed that match a lot. I enjoyed that match a lot. It was an old school pace match. I don't know if this is every match Adam Pearce wrestles. They're all this type of this type of uh, style, but but if he could wrestle like that, if he could wrestle like that, you don't forget how to wrestle over a period of time. I know he hasn't wrestled since 2012. You don't forget how to wrestle. He just has some ring rust. So I think as long as he's training every single day and getting ready for that match with Roman Reigns, I think he'd probably go in there and have a good match with Roman Reigns. I don't know if it's going to be an outstanding or a great match, but I think it could be a good one. I would give this match... I would give it 9 out of 10. Like, I originally was going to give it like 8.5, but I'm like, I genuinely enjoyed that match a lot. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Would recommend. And that was Adam Pearce's highest rated match on cagematch.net and what I thought was a great match. What did you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. Do you think Adam Pearce versus Roman Reigns is going to be a good match? Also comment down below. Let me know about that one. I love you guys as always. And I will see you all later. Peace out, guys. But hey, don't go anywhere. I still have one thing left to say before I send you on your way. So there's this thing that I do on my channel. I did it last year and I'm bringing it back this year called the Tyler Coon Williams Royal Rumble Pool. Where I put you all in one pool and give you a number between 1 and 30. And... If your number wins either the men's or women's Royal Rumble, then you win. And you can win a grand prize between either six months paid subscription to any wrestling service, whether it be WWE Network, whether it be New Japan World, whether it be Stardom World, or Independent Wrestling TV. Or you could win two free pro wrestling t-shirts to any pro wrestling shop. All you have to do to enter in this pool, completely 100% free by the way, go to my channel. Go to the Tyler Coon Williams channel right below, click on it, go to the community tab, and right where you see that Royal Rumble pool thread, go to the comment section and type the word Rumble. Press enter. Once your comment is hearted by me, you are officially entered in the pool. Hurry now, we still have five more spets left in pool number one before we have to open up pool number two. Patreon backers, if you are on patreon.com slash TylerMask and you are a $10 or more tier, you get two positions in the Royal Rumble match. You get two numbers, one for each pool that you are in. And that's it, I'm head up out of here. I hope to see you all in the Rumble pool and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, go follow me on Twitter. Talk to you guys later. Peace out guys.